Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will learn about struct in C. More specifically, we will learn to store related data together under a single name using struct. So, let's get started. A struct is a collection of variables under a single name. The variables can be of different types. Suppose we want to store the name and age of a person. For this, we can create two variables and store name and age. However, since both the data are of same person, it would be better to create a single struct and put this data inside it. Remember, struct is often termed as structure in C. So, don't get confused. They are mostly used interchangeably. Let's now start with the syntax of creating a struct. A struct in C starts with the struct keyword followed by the name of the struct. The curly braces indicates the body of the struct and the variable inside the struct are called members of the struct. When we define a struct, we are basically creating a data type just like int and double. In this example, the data type is struct person. So we can create variables of this struct person type just like creating variables of int and double types. Now let's create a variable of struct person type. Here, if you look into the syntax, you can see the syntax looks similar to creating regular variables, where struct person represents data type and this person one represents the variable name. Now we can use these struct variables to access the members of struct. Now I'll add here person one dot is is equals to 25 and person one dot salary is equals to 4321.78. Here I have used dot operator to initialize the struct members is with the value 25 and salary with the value 4321.78 for the person one variable. Now let's print the value. I'll use print f statement here is of Person 1 is percent d n comma person 1 dot is and another print statement that prints the salary of person 1 that is in double so point 2 lf comma person 1 dot salary. Similarly, the same dot operator is used to access the value of struct members age and salary for the person1 variable. Now I'll complete this program. Here I'll add include stdio.h and add here struct person curly braces double sorry double salary and int is now i'll run this code here you can see we have successfully initialized and accessed the struct members for the person one variable in this way we can create as many struct variables as we want and all struct members can use the a's and salary members of the struct let me show you inside the main i'll add here struct person person 2 then we can initialize and access the struct members for person 2 variable as well so i'll initialize person 2 variable is is equals to 31 person 2 dot salary is equals to 78943.2 and I'll print this. So, is of person 2 colon percent d comma person 2 dot is and print f salary of person 2 percent point two lf comma person two dot salary 
So I need to move this space from here. Now let me run this code. You can see we have successfully used the struct for person two as well. By the way, do you want to take your programming journey to the next level? Watching tutorials is fine, but it has one limitation. It's hard to learn and practice together at the same time. Lucky for you, we recently launched Programmies Pro that provides tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an experience of how programming works in the real world. Sign up now, visit the link which is also available in the video description below. In this example, we are creating the struct variables in one line and assigning member variable in another line. Instead, we can simply create the struct variables and initialize members in the same line. Let me show you. I'll remove this part of code. So I'll remove this part as well. I'll remove these two lines of code. And so I'll simply write here struct person person one is equals to curly braces dot is is equals to 25 comma dot salary is equals to 4321.78 and I'll close this curly braces and another struct person person 2 is equals to curly braces dot is is equals to 31 comma dot salary is equals to 78,943.2 and let's close this now let me run this code here you can see we get the desired output also we can create struct variables while defining the struct let me show you in this previous code i'll remove this part of code and here i'll add these struct variables person one comma person two now let me run this code you can see we get the same output while creating the struct variables we have to use both the struct keyword and the name of the struct which is too long. Instead, we can use an alias. The type def keyword allow us to use an alias for struct. Let's see an example. Here we have our code from our earlier example. In this case, instead of struct person, we can use an alias with the help of type def. Let me modify this code. Here I'll add here type def in the struct definition and person at the end. Now this person can be used as an alias to struct. So we can now create a struct variable using person instead of struct person. So I'll remove this and I'll write here person. Now let me run this code. As you can see, we get the desired output. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below. Press that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score higher so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Let's see one practical example of struct. We'll create a program to add two complex numbers. We know that a complex number has two parts real part and imaginary part. So while performing addition between two complex numbers, we always add the real part of complex number with the real part of another complex number and the imaginary part of complex number to the imaginary part of second complex number. Now you know the mechanism of the program, let's start writing code. First, I'll create a struct type def struct complex and curly braces and it has members real and imaginary so double real and double imaginary so I'll just write imagine so this represents the real and imaginary part of complex number and we will add complex at the end of the struct so complex here and 
semicolon. Now let's create two complex variables whose sum is to be found. So I'll write here complex c1 is equals to curly braces dot real is equals to 21.87 and its imaginary value is imagine is equals to 30 and then we'll close this and another variable complex c2 with value real value is equals to 13.34 and imaginary value dot imagine is equals to 112 point uh, suppose this is 112.23 and we'll close this Remember, we are assigning value while creating the complex variables. Now, let's create another complex variable to store the sum of these two variables. So, I'll create here complex sum. As mentioned earlier, let's add the real and the imaginary value of these variables independently and assign the results to the real and the complex part of this sum variable. So what I'll do is I'll add here sum dot real is equals to c1 dot real plus c2 dot real and then sum dot imagine is equals to c1 dot imagine plus c2 dot imagine. Now let's print this. I'll use printf statement, printf bracket, inside quotation, result is percent point 2lf as it is double, so plus percent dot 2lf and we'll add here i for the complex number and sum dot real comma sum dot imagine here i have formatted the output to make our result look better now let me run this code as you can see we get the sum of two complex numbers now to revise what you have learned in this program here is a programming task for you create a program to find the difference between three complex numbers to perform the subtraction between complex numbers you need to subtract the real part of one complex number from the real part of other complex numbers and the imaginary part of one complex number from other complex numbers. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository and also if you want to revise this concept, all this program will be there as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. What is the name of the variable of the following struct? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.